Iran's gift to itself. They, of course, knew what they were getting, but the Iranians cut the ribbon on what for the rest of the world was a surprise present nobody wanted to see, for it's the thought that counts. Adding fuel to the fire, this was as provocative as Ahmadinejad could be, showcasing a domestically made fuel rod ready for Iran's nuclear reactor. As geopolitical concerns deepened, this televised display went to the heart of the matter. Nuclear power stations normally use fuel enriched to around 4%, but the Iranian president boasted that theirs had been brought up to 20. The fear is that Iran intends to take enrichment all the way to atomic weapons grade, which is 90%. That prospect may be closer following a second revelation that a new generation of centrifuges has been installed at Iran's main enrichment facility. It's very hard to explain the scale of the Iranian nuclear program simply on the basis of their civilian requirements, which are currently are very limited. And people ask, what is all this for? And the most obvious answer is it's to give the Iranians the option of building a nuclear weapon. Iran denies planning to build a nuclear weapon. It also denies involvement in bomb plots in India, Georgia and Thailand this week. But Thai sources say that two Iranians captured after three failed explosions in Bangkok were targeting Israeli diplomats. Their plan apparently was to attach magnetic or sticky bombs to embassy cars. That's exactly the way suspected Israeli agents have been killing Iranian nuclear scientists, most recently in Tehran last month. The events of this week must heighten the unease that existed even before all these developments. In a tinderbox region, they're playing with matches. John Irvine, ITV News, in the Gulf. در واقع آب داخلی اینجاست اولین جایی که ظاهر میکنه توی آبه ما در